this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today it's a whole lot of fun. I have an unboxing for you from The Strand in New York City. Stay tuned. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me. I hope you are all doing well. So yesterday I received a confirmation email from The Strand saying that my order had processed. Now I am on an automatic renewal for their subscription box. They have a subscription service that is pretty unique uh, in that they have a number of genres that you're able to pick from. Now their subscription boxes are quarterly. So that's once every three months. And I believe you can pick from nonfiction, contemporary fiction, science fiction, horror, children's. There might be one or two others. There may be a poetry one, I'm not sure. I will link um, the information for the subscription boxes down below. This is not sponsored, this is not affiliated. I pay for the service with my own cashola and I enjoy it. And it is allowed in my Read What You Own challenge. I made it a stipulation for myself that subscription boxes are okay. So, um, yeah, I got the email yesterday and I came home from work to net and I was like, there's a box. I wonder what's in the box. And then I see, and I'm like, oh, it's the strand. They always have interesting picks. I will say that. Okay. So I have my safety scissors. Let's dig in. Nothing better than a little pick me up after a long and grueling week. How was your week? Mine was grueling. I'm so thankful that it's the weekend. We have a snowstorm going on right now. So after I film this video, I'm gonna make a little something to eat and hunker down and read. How about you? Okay, the one thing, these suckers are sealed really well. I'm surprised I got it so fast. I will say there was one box that I got recently and it was sitting at a post office in New Jersey for like a month. I got really worried about it. And then finally it landed on my doorstep. Now their boxes are known to have something unique. Last month we had, mm, or last subscription we had, the Strand Tea Cup. I wouldn't call it a coffee cup because my coffee is like three times this size. And there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Paper in the box is a Strand Red. But they do offer unique, um, unique boxes. I don't, cheat. I don't get a preview. I want to be completely surprised. I have no idea what's in this box. Oh, I've seen this title. All right. Ooh. First we have Nepal tea from the Himalayas. It's a black tea. Kanchajanga Noir. Sounds good. Organic tea from the Himalayas. I am all about it. And this is from Nepal Tea in Jersey City, New Jersey. Hey, hey, if you're in Jersey, check out Nepal Tea. All right. Then we have, ooh, this is Leo's. Only three grams. I like how they're kind of healthy too. Only three grams of sugar. It's a sandwich cookie, which is really good to go with tea. I'm a fan of a little bit of a cookie once in a while. I like to make cookies. Mm, and it doesn't look too bad. Two cookies in a serving, it's not bad. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. Three grams of sugar, okay, I'll take it. Okay, then we have, ooh, this is cute. For the love of your desk, a shorthand pad. I love office supplies. Have I said that before, how much I love office supplies? Very, very cool. I don't even know how to do shorthand, but I think it's really cool. And this is printed in the United States. A lot of these products are East Coast US based, which is really awesome too. So we have that. All right. What is this? Oh, and uh, Nepal tea you get. Oh, this is so nice. 15% uh, off your next purchase with the code Nepal T15. I'm just going to share it with you. Nepal T15. And it's applicable on Amazon. You can buy this you can buy this tea on Amazon. All right. Ooh, what is this? Huh. Okay. This caught me. Whoo, baby. 
This is called Madam by Phoebe Wynn. The first blurb says, haunting and deliciously dark. I like that. The second blurb, Rebecca meets the secret history. <gasps> Sold. Let's find out about it. the book on the back. Ooh, I love this. Don't you love this? Okay. Oh, here's another one. The simmering menace and mystery kept me absolutely gripped. A smoldering novel I could not put down. Sounds like it's March Mystery Madness, don't you? For 150 years, high above rocky Scottish cliffs, Callanbray Hall has sat untouched, a beacon of excellence in an old ancestral castle. A boarding school for girls, it promises that the young women lucky enough to be admitted will emerge resilient and ready to serve society. Serve? Into its illustrious mist steps Rose Christie, a 26-year-old classics teacher. The school's new head of the department and the first time and the first hire for the school in over a decade. At first, Rose is overwhelmed to be invited into this institution whose prestige is is unrivaled. But she quickly discovers that behind the school's elitist veneer lies an impenetrable, starkly traditional culture that she struggles to reconcile with her modernist beliefs. Not to mention her her commitment to educating girls for the future. It also doesn't take long for Rose to suspect that there's more to the secret circumstances surrounding the abrupt departure of her predecessor, a woman whose ghost lingers everywhere than anyone is willing to let on. In her search for this mysterious former teacher, Rose instead uncovers the darkness that beats at the heart of the hall, forcing her to confront the true extent of the school's nefarious purpose and her own role in perpetuating it. A darkly feminist tale pitched against a haunting backdrop and populated by an electrifying cast of heroines. Madam will keep readers engrossed until the breathtaking conclusion. They want our silence. They want our obedience. Let them see our fire burn. Uh, if this isn't a match for me, I don't know what is. Love everything I read. This is going to be awesome. I may have to put this in this month. And it doesn't count for read what I own technically. <clears throat> Gosh darn, that sounds good. Okay, this is the one that I've seen. Oh, and this is a signed edition. The books that I get from the Strand subscription box are signed copies. This is I Have Some Questions for You by Rebecca Mackay. I have not heard of this. I've seen this cover on BookTube and the Book Talk but I don't know what it's about. Comment down below and let me know. Have you read it? Don't spoil it for me, but let me know. Did you enjoy it? Hmm. Jennifer Egan. I like Jennifer Egan. She says, part boarding... We're in another boarding school drama? Oh, man. Part boarding school drama, part forensic whodunit. I have some questions for you. Is a true literary mystery haunting and hard to put down? Okay. Mm, I don't know anyone else. I don't know anyone else's... Um blurb here okay and it is signed on the title page sometimes they put the little signature cards in there hmm let's read about the book in case you don't know i don't know a successful film professor and podcaster Bodie kane is content to forget her past the family tragedy that marred her adolescence her four largely miserable years at a New Hampshire boarding school and the murder of her Forder roommate Thalia Keith in the spring of their senior year. Though the circumstances surrounding Thalia's death and the conviction of the school's athletic trainer Omar Evans are hotly debated online, Bodhi prefers needs to let sleeping dogs lie. But when the Granby School invites her back to teach a course, Bodhi is inexorably drawn to the case and its increasingly apparent flaws. In their rush to convict Omar, did the school and the police overlook other suspects? Is the real killer still out there? As she falls down the very rabbit hole she was so determined to avoid, Bodhi begins to wonder if she wasn't much of an outsider at Granby as she'd thought. If perhaps back in 1995 she knew something that might have held the key to solving the case. I have some questions in I have some questions for you. Award-winning author Rebecca Mackay has crafted her most irresistible novel yet. 
a stirring investigation into the collective memory and deeply felt examination of one woman's reckoning with her past. With a transfixing mystery at its heart, timely, hypnotic, and populated with a cast of unforgettable and populated with a cast of unforgettable characters, I have some questions for you. Is at once a compulsive page turner and literary triumph. <gasps> Sounds like two contenders for March Mystery Madness, doesn't it? Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna go with this one first, though. This one's me. This is me. Mm, all right. So I am very pleased with that box. I think I got two great books. I got some stationery. I got some snacks. And I got a tea and a coupon. It's a win-win. All right, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. All right, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Make sure you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether it be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone. So until next time, everyone. Goodbye for now. What is with all the stuff?